Another very important concept to understand before I actually start coding and show you how uh, security identity actually works within ASP.NET Core is this security context. Right? So what is actually the security context? The security context contains all the information that the user has for security purpose. That includes the user information itself, username, and all of the other type of user information like email addresses. Right? Uh, those information are actually encapsulated within one single object that is called claims principle. In ASP.NET Core, uh, we're using claims principle. So that's why I mentioned claims principle, but it's actually, we can say that on a conceptual level, we have a principle object that represents this security context of the user, right? It's basically, you can consider this is the user, right? Uh, and the principle contains one or many identities of the user. Why there can be many type of identities? Uh, I think I have explained in the first video that you know one person can have many type of identities, right? You can, for example, uh, you can be a student and you have a student card. You can be an employee and you have an employee card. And you can have your driver's license and you can have the access card to your apartment building. So all of these are a form of identity. And then the next level is the next level is uh, claims. So uh, one identity then can contain many claims. Okay? Uh, what are claims? Claims are basically a key value pair that carries your information. For example, on your driver's license. For example, this uh, this identity is your is your driver's license identity, right? Driver's license. And you can see that on driver's license, there is your name, right? For example, my name. And then you may have your, uh, your birthday, right? Whatever your birthday is. And then you could have your, uh, your height, whether you need to wear glasses while you're driving. Driver's license also contains my eye color and as well as my address. Right, so all of these are claims. Uh, these are just examples of claims. Of course, uh, this one claim is just one key and pair. One key pair, right? So if you want driver's license to contain all of these, then it would be like this, right? So these are the relationship uh, between principles, identities, and claims. Again, one, uh, the principle represents the logged in user. It contains all of the information that the logged in user has. And then the principle can have many identities. Usually we have just one identity, uh, which is the default identity. And then one identity can have many claims, which carries all of the user information. And then eventually when we're doing authorization, we can use these claims. Uh, we can apply those requirements on each uh, page or resource in our web server, right? Those requirements that require certain claims to be present in order to gain access to the resource. 